Hello, Barbara. Hello, Elton. Welcome again to our investment series. Um, I understand CSOP recently launched two ETFs on virtual assets. Uh, they are related to Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, can you first briefly let us know what is Bitcoin or Ethereum? Sure, Elton. So I think uh, most of us have heard about of a Bitcoin and Ethereum and consider them as a, a cryptocurrency. So they can be defined as crypto representation of value or rights which may be transferred or stored electrically using distributed ledger technology or similar technology. So although they both use a blockchain technology, there are some key differences between them. So in short, people always say, oh, Bitcoin is a virtual decentralized asset that is best recognized for its potential in being a great store of value because of the limited supply. So by design, its uh, supply is kept at 21 million Bitcoins. For now, I think currently there are over uh, 19 million already as of uh, end of 2022. It makes it more costly and difficult to mine if uh, additional Bitcoin, they want to increase the supply. The Ethereum, on the other hand, is usually considered as a decentralized software platform where developers can leverage smart contracts in order to develop decentralized applications. Although it's not uh, like Bitcoin, the total, of, uh, total amount of Ether can be increased from time to time. Their supply is not unlimited, but their competitive advantage is the applications, the multiple uses of this uh, cryptocurrency. Well, that's a good lesson for me on Bitcoin and Ethereum. Yeah, but Elton, do you know how secure it is uh, for as uh, blockchain uh, technology and what about uh, what's the risk or what investors should pay attention to? Yeah, as far as I know, the key terminology or how secure they are mm. is based on this, this so-called peer-to-peer network or distributed ledger. And uh, actually, a blockchain works on the distributed ledger and uh, on a peer-to-peer -peer network. And that means that the book record is kept at many nooks. It's not just one single nook which keep the record. It's many, many nooks which keep the record. So in addition, uh, once a record is submitted to a blockchain, uh, it cannot be altered in any way. And this is why a blockchain or Ethereum is secure. And it all depends on some, some terms called cryptography, Mathematics. <laughs> well, that sounds very complicated by the terms. <laughs> yes, yeah, sure, sure. And by the way, CSOP launched two ETFs. Can you let us know more about uh, the background of these uh, two uh, virtual asset related ETFs? Yeah, I think uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum are starting to get more and more popular nowadays. So the demand for virtual assets have grown rapidly. So to expand our product offerings to help investors to add more asset type, asset class in their portfolio. So we launched two uh, virtual asset features this year. So 3066 is tracking the CME Bitcoin futures and 3068 is tracking the Ether Ethereum futures on the CME. For uh, Hong Kong investors, they can now easily through the Hong Kong Stock Exchange to invest in these kinds of crypto asset ETF. So these ETFs are buying into future contracts and traded on the CME, which is the largest derivatives exchange in the world. Make it highly liquid and also they're being regulated. So uh, investor will be more uh, secured, uh, especially uh, when facing the counterparty risk because uh, the we have seen some of the physical crypto exchanges. They may go bankrupt or their money go disappear. Investor may loss, uh, may suffer a loss. That is why uh, using a very liquid and very uh, transparent uh, features on the CME uh, protects investor as well. And also investors can participate in the price movement in the virtual asset under a regulated environment. This is one of the key why investors nowadays choosing or interested in using ETF and buying into a virtual asset ETF. Mm, I see. Um, uh, by the way, 
should investor be interested? Uh, may I ask what is the minimum investment amount like uh, for 3066 or 3068? We can take now as an example in mid-April. So the lot size is 100 shares per lot. The price of 3066 is around $13 Hong Kong dollars and also a 3068 around 12 Hong Kong dollars. So it's around less than 1,500 Hong Kong dollars. So it's very easy and relatively cheap for investors to add into their portfolio the uh, increase in Bitcoin or uh, Ether is uh, rising, keep rising up uh, since January this year. So I think uh, comparing to when we first launched is around uh, 780 uh, Hong Kong dollars. So now it's almost reaching the double. So I think it's a very good uh, tools for investors to just add in their portfolio to diversify their asset class. I see. And uh, finally, let me just um, supplement some additional risk on crypto. Um, Although some cryptocurrency, they have limited supply, like this Bitcoin, um, but that does not mean that their value will remain there or keep mm -hmm. on increasing. So uh, we uh, recommend to all investors uh, to be aware that uh, not necessarily all crypto or assets uh, price will keep uh, rising. And at the same time, uh, investors please also note uh, there's a dif difference between uh, cryptocurrency and, and crypto, crypto assets. assets. Yeah. yeah, crypto asset is usually a much, is a, is a larger group and that includes um, digitalized ownership of let's say uh, art pieces or wine or even the NFT. These are uh, Crypto, these are crypto assets and uh, cryptocurrencies uh, is what we are talking about Bitcoin, Ethereum or, or USDT, those, mm. those, those are those like the kind. And anyway, uh, investor please note uh, all investment involves risk and uh, we have a big, big thanks today to Barbara. Yeah, so for more uh, product details or risk, you can always refer to our uh, CSOP official website and also their underlyings and uh, what, what features we're tracking. You can also all refer to the detail on our website. Thank, Thank you, Elton. Thanks, Barbara.